it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube. Um, I just realized it's probably really echoey in here and I was about to say, can you guess where I am? Um, but mostly you're just seeing like a white wall at this point. Um, I'm in my new home and I've been wanting to do a house tour for you guys. I made the mistake of telling you that we were buying a home kind of early on in the process and now I feel like everybody is asking me for a home house tour and I feel bad that I can't give it to you yet so I wanted to let you know what happened during the process of buying this house that made it kind of impossible for me to show you a house tour just yet or anytime super soon, to be honest, because I literally, this is like the third night that I've spent in this house, um, and I just have so much going on. So let me go upstairs into my bedroom so it's not so echoey, and um, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more about why I can't show you the house or why the process is going to take so long and has already taken so long. I'm gonna take my hair down real quick. All right, so here's how this all went down. I told you guys, uh, probably like mid-February that we were uh, thinking about buying a house and that's when we started looking at homes. Uh, we had kind of a difficult time finding a house that we liked, fell in love with one house, literally was going to look at it the next day, ready to buy it. It sold in one day. It's been a crazy journey, but basically I wanted to tell you about since we put an offer in on this house, what happened. So we put an offer in on this house and typically it takes like a month to close on a house, which just officially means that it's yours. And if you guys remember, or if you've been following me on Instagram, you should, cause I'm gonna reference a lot of things um, that like maybe you've seen on Instagram throughout this video. We went to Portland and Seattle. I also made a video about that. I'll link it up there if you haven't seen it yet. As we were boarding the plane to go to Portland, that's when we got the email that we were good to close on the house. So basically like all your inspections are done, all the good stuff is, is done for, um, you can close like as soon as you have time which meant that I wasn't going to be home for two weeks, okay? So that already like kind of messed us up, but that was no big deal. We were still going to have plenty of time to like get everything done. So I got back from Portland on March, I think it was 22nd. The next day, I think March 23rd, was my sister's wedding shower, which I was the maid of honor I was hosting. So that was already hectic. I was flying basically from Seattle to Houston to do all that. I didn't even get to come home in between that. Land 22nd, wedding showers 23rd. 25th, we close on the house, and then I have until the 30th to get everything out of my house and into my new house because my sister is getting married on the 30th and then obviously we want to be out by the end of the month to not have to pay rent again. So that was already insanity which meant if my sister's wedding shower was on the 23rd I basically only had the 24th of March to pack up my entire house. Now luckily minimalism is my friend and I didn't have too much to pack but regardless it was stressful because of how small the turnaround was. So basically we pack up our whole life and we come to close on the house on the 25th and my realtor didn't let us know in advance that we had to do a final walkthrough so we're sitting at the title company and my phone rings and it's our real estate agent and I answer and he says so I've got some not so great news but I want you to try to be positive about it um, you're not closing on your house today Without getting too far into it, I'll put a picture here of what happened. There was a huge leak in our master bedroom that led uh, to the basically the roof falling down in the garage. So we had to wait um, like two weeks from when we thought we were gonna close to when we actually closed, which was mid-April. And in between there, I essentially was just living out of boxes. And also, the I think like the day after uh, I found out that we weren't going to close. I got invited to go to LA to be on the Minimalist podcast. That was so fucking exciting. And then the day after I got back from the Minimalist podcast, I got an offer to go to Atlanta to go hang out with Habitat for Humanity and see the energy efficiency projects they're doing in their homes. And wow, life has just been insane. I have not been able to stop, which I am so grateful for. But at the same time, for the last like three weeks, I've been traveling and living out of boxes. <laughs> and if you guys have seen me on my Instagram story, I've essentially been wearing like the same stuff for the last like two weeks, which is kind of normal for me. So I don't know if you noticed if it was weird or not, but that's just a fact because I got this thread up box. Like, um, when did I get this? I don't remember the date I got this, but I know that all my stuff was packed up when I got back from Portland and some of the things were in here, one of the things I got before I went to Portland. But basically for the last couple weeks, I've been living out of this cute little polka dotted box. And yeah, I am partnering with ThreadUp on this video, so I'm gonna show you some things that are cool in here later, but I just wanted to let you guys know what is going on in my life because I don't want you guys to be confused. I feel like everyone in my life is confused. My whole life path is different. Things keep getting delayed and pushed back and why am I traveling like all the time now? And it's it's not been like a planned thing to 
to close on the house late to go to LA and Atlanta and Portland and all of this stuff but I am incredibly grateful that my life has worked out this way um, and yeah I just I'm gonna take you guys along with that adventure um, let me show you what my corner of my room looks like that's that's a mess I mean that's and then there's Tippy but he's adorable. But yeah, life has just been a really intense and I wanted to give you guys a rundown. So I vlogged some things during the move. Uh, we went dumpster diving to get our boxes. I wanted to include that. I'm going to try some of these things on. Oh, and actually this video, I think I'm going to post it on Earth Day. Um, ThreadUp is doing this really cool promotion where anybody who orders on Earth Day, I think it's the first 100,000 orders that they place. But they said they expect them to go very, very fast are these little pins that just say used. I'll put a picture of one on the screen if I can find it. I just interviewed the brand director for ThreadUp and I'll link that in the description so you guys can go listen to that as well. But she was explaining to me that they're doing this promo for Earth Day because the secondhand market is growing so, so much, but it's kind of invisible because it's one of those things like when you look at someone's clothing, you can't tell that they're wearing secondhand. And so it's a movement, but like we're all kind of invisibly doing this like really responsible, like cool thing. And so their idea was to give away these these pins that say used so people know that you're wearing used clothes and like you're proud to be a used clothes wearer and I think it's really cool I'm gonna I'm gonna order something on Earth Day so I can get the pin and I'm also gonna put it on my denim jacket I'm really excited about that so I wanted to let you guys know while you're watching this if you go down to the description you do get 30% off of your first order by using my link so make sure you go down there and do that but um, you can also get a free pin today that says used and you can just, you know, make the, this part of the movement like more out there. And it's not a plastic pin. It's an enamel pin. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice pin. I'm really excited about that. But let's go try on some stuff and then we'll get into a little bit more of what my insane life um, has been like. I'll just show you guys some clip and snippets of the last few weeks. Okay, so this is the first outfit. It might seem a little basic, but hear me out. What happened is I went to Portland, and in Portland, everybody wears black denim, and I wanted some black denim after I got back from Portland. I specifically went on to ThreadUp looking for some black denim jeans. ThreadUp makes it just really easy because you can search by your size and the brand that you want and the color that you want. It just makes it super easy to find what you want secondhand. So these are actually Levi's. I can show you guys the classic pocket on the Levi jeans. But Levi's are typically $60 and these I got for $20. I'm very excited because I know they're really good quality and they're also something that I did buy because it's like trendy per se, but black denim jeans are not really something that's gonna go out of style or that will be someday like obsolete and you wouldn't wear again. So I felt okay about that. And then I just have this also like pretty typical Shelby top here. <laughs> you guys know I like striped tops and this one's like a navy blue and the fit is really nice. It's not too tight, it's not too long, it's not too short. I really like the cut that they did on this. This is an Eileen Fisher piece and you guys might remember me telling you she is my favorite designer, but this shirt was originally $100 and I got it for 20 so I love to wear Eileen Fisher, but like I can't really afford her stuff. Yeah, this is a pretty basic outfit, but I feel like as someone who is a minimalist, trying to wear more minimalist looking clothing just to make life simpler, this is perfection. Okay, now I know the outfit didn't change too much, but hear me out. I just paired it with these linen shorts because linen is an amazing material. It's very sustainable, like the fabric itself. I actually will be posting a video more about sustainable materials and which materials are good for the environment and not so good and linen is an excellent one even when you're buying it secondhand because it doesn't shed any bad fibers. These shorts are actually from Old Navy and I got them for a super good deal but I don't shop at Old Navy because I don't support their practices. Back in the day when I was dumpster diving I used to find they would throw out perfectly good things and cut them so that people couldn't use them and they didn't donate them and all that sort of stuff. So I don't support Old Navy as a brand, but I really do like these shorts. Um, I plan to get them in multiple colors. As soon as my saved search on ThreadUp tells me there's more, just cause they're like the perfect fit and good material for summer to not be too hot in this Texas heat. Okay, now I've been meaning to iron this since I got back from my last trip. It's a little wrinkly, but you also might be thinking, Shelby, isn't that your favorite top that you talk about all the time? Like if you know what my favorite top is, you know it looks basically just like this. It's linen, it's white, 
It's from Torrid. And this shirt is all of those things. Um, and it also is secondhand on Thread Up, my favorite shirt. And so is this one. But they're not the same. They are a little bit different. They both have the very nice, like, embroidery scalloped bottom like this. And they're both white. They're both fitted like this. It's, like, just flowy and easy for spring and summer. But this one, you can see the back is very different because on the other one it's not split like this and this one has some button detailing at the top and then comes down and is flowy. Madison calls these shirts my dragon shirts because they like flow back there like a little tail. And then there is this item that might literally be my favorite thing in my closet literally right now. You would have seen this all over my Instagram stories and even in an Instagram post, I'm sure. So the reason I like this jacket so much and the reason I s seeked it out essentially is because I've trying, been trying to get better about buying natural fibers. So this jacket is made from something called tensile and I was specifically looking for something made from tensile because I kept hearing how wonderful it is and I had never tried anything. Um, and this jacket is again from Eileen Fisher and it is 100% tensile and when I tell you it is the silkiest material I've ever touched. I mean that, it's so soft. Um, and it made it really easy to find it on ThreadUp. I basically just searched for the material Tencel and it came right up. And it's from one of my favorite brands and it's one of my favorite colors. And just so happened that the fit is super nice. Like the detailing on it is just done so well. And I think this is going to be amazing to wear for spring and maybe not, not for Texas summer, but for other you guys who don't have such hot summers, you could maybe get away with wearing this in the summer I did wear it in Portland but not on the super cold days um, it will keep you warm when it's a little chilly outside and I think it is freaking beautiful I'm literally obsessed with it like I'm just looking at it in the mirror like mm, can I just wear this outfit today like I feel like this is a good spring outfit and I am obsessed so I did come downstairs to my mirror you guys might remember this mirror from my other house um, and I don't want to show you the whole house and it's not even decorated yet. That is a mission that is going to take place in a video that I'm literally going to film right after this one. Um, I'm not sure which order they'll go up in, but I was out of town for a lot of time and so now I'm like trying to get back on it. But you did get to see a little bit of the downstairs, so don't spoil it for yourself. I will do an entire proper house tour when the time is right. But first, I did want to thank ThreadUp for partnering with me on this video. I love their shopping service so, so, so much. And on top of loving them for partnering with me, they give you 30 30% off of things that are already really good quality at already super low prices like you just can't beat it I love them so much so click the link to get yours and if you literally order today on Earth Day then you'll get the free pin to show off that you're proud to wear used clothes and it's not icky and we can you know try to stop that stigma a little bit more okay so let's get into what I've been up to since I haven't been posting I've actually missed one or two posting dates I hate doing that so basically this week what you're seeing right now this might be like my third or fourth video this week I'm gonna try to pump them out because I feel really bad you know I used to hate when youtubers say like I'm traveling so I couldn't work but like I did work and then like things just didn't work out so like I had things planned for when I would be gone and then things just kept coming up like oh can you be here next week oh can you be here in a couple days and it's just been madness, but I'm really appreciative of the opportunities I've gotten and thank you guys for following me and checking out all the amazing things that are out there. I mean, the companies that want to work with me are because they're doing ethical and sustainable things. Like, I couldn't be more proud to work with them, but enough of that. We'll get into that more probably in a later video. I'll talk about Habitat for Humanity and all the cool things we've been doing. But for now, let me show you some snippets of what my life has been like the last couple weeks. All right guys, so you know we are moving soon, so we are in the market for some boxes. So we're dumpster diving again. Well, I don't know if we're gonna dive in it, but we're gonna get stuff out of there, yes? Yeah, I don't think we really need to dive. It's literally overflowing right now and they're sitting on the ground. <laughs> so we're gonna get some boxes so that we can move, reduce, reuse, recycle, that sort of thing. And uh, we're, we're dumpster diving again. I guess this counts. This is not count as diving. <laughs> it's right there on the ground. We okay. dive into the concrete. All right, guys, come with us. Here we go. Diving. This is diving. <laughs> not quite as uh, advanced as what it used to be. Oh, these might be food boxes. These might not be the best ones. What about any of these? They're all food boxes. Got a little chicken grease on them. Ooh. Okay. Let's go back to the other place. I told Madison she always used to make me be the one to jump in, so she gets to be the one this time. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, you want to flip it? Can you flip it? It's kind of hard. 
Probably not. <laughs> You're a little bit taller. You can grab it from up here. My my advanced skills. No. Good thing we're not trying to keep a low profile. What did I say when I used to dumpster dive? No Never do it in flip flops. All right, next place? Yep. Madison called Walmart and Target before we started this to see if they have any boxes that, that we could just have that they weren't gonna use. And they told us we'd have to come at a certain time and ask a certain person. So we're like, we'll just take dumpsters instead. Tuesday morning. Oh, that's, that yeah, that's probably a good one. Oh yeah, those are nice. Ew. We're borrowing my mom's car, guys, so that we can move stuff. And then pack it down with boxes. Oh, you didn't close all the way, babe. Let me get close this one too. Oh yeah, look at us go. We win. 